guys, and welcome back to another episode of From the Shadows. If you are still enjoying the series, I know that we're getting towards the end of thing, and think the hype is kind of real for FM16. You know, it means series like this are kind of starting to tail a little bit away, but I'm still putting just as much effort in as always. If anything, more than I was before. So there you go. Uh, so if you are still enjoying it, please do leave a like on the video. Um, yeah. Anyway. Moving along, we've got ourselves um, a question of the day. And today's question is this. What do you use to record and edit your videos? Now, I think I may have answered this before, but I just want to put this one out there that way because I do get asked this quite a bit. Uh, basically, I use Bandicam to record. Um, I've got a... This is a Blue Yeti microphone. Um, obviously, I wouldn't advise that for... Like, if you're just starting out, don't do... It's just... Like, if you start doing well, then maybe start to invest in things like mics. I've got a Blue Snowball, which I used to use under my desk. Um, I'm using... Yeah, so I use Bandicam to record the Blue Yeti microphone to record my voice. Um, I then use uh, Reaper to edit my audio because I record them separately. And then I mix them together uh, once it's edited in there. I use Adobe Premiere um, to sort of edit things together and everything. And then I use uh, Handbrake to make the files much, much smaller for when they upload to YouTube. As for the camera, this is a Sony HX50, I think. <laughs> I can't actually remember. It's a Sony HX50 uh, camera. It's pretty deep. It's done, it's done the job so far. And I've obviously got a big old lamp on top of that with a tripod behind this uh, screen. So that's the kind of the kit I'm using right now. I might have to do a setup video at some point, uh, maybe towards the start of FM6. We're, we're running out of time, you know? Um, so anyway, that's question of the day. Now, a couple of things is on yesterday's video, some of you that watch both will already know about this, but Wimbledon is the series where we'll be doing on our rebuilding save uh, for the, not the beta, but the one just after the beta for our first save of FM16. And I'm really, really looking forward to it, basically. I really am. Just be great to get stuck into the new game, try out some of these new things I'm looking forward to, um, but in a new save where we can all get on board and really sort of push for something like we did with Portsmouth last year, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, the other thing is we need a manager for the save since uh, we started doing that on every save. So I want your guys' suggestions on who you'd like to see manage AFC Wimbledon and and Wales, frankly, um, doesn't yeah. Put your preference in the comments. It could be anyone really from any of my saves. But obviously, it'd be nice if it was someone from the Roma currently. Well, not doesn't have to be Roma um, or Paris. But if you fancy someone from Red Star or from Portsmouth, then hey, feel free to drop those in the comments too. I'll put a poll up in a couple of weeks' time, or a bit closer to the date once I've had a, enough opinions from you guys and see what you guys want. So, without further ado, because we don't, we've got quite a bit to go through because we've got a double episode, a double live com today. Um, Let's just jump straight into the Hoffenheim game. Of course, there's been games played in the meantime. However, I'm not going to show you those until after this game. That way, because we've got one game in between, I can just do the whole lot in one big live, uh, like, highlight package, basically. So, a um, few things. Aslan is back. The King is back. The Lion King has returned. Um, however, he is still sort of on the fence about his sort of fitness levels. Slight issue. Cherry picked up a knot, but he's okay. Generally, things are all right. We've, yeah, we've not had the best month, but you'll see more about that in a second. Um, that's basically what I'm going to go with. It's still a pretty strong team, basically, and I'm pretty pleased with that in total. We've had some bids from the likes of... Um Oh, no, we want that turned on, don't we? We've had bids for Mohamed and Bar, not Mohamed, Abraham and Bar, of up to 7 million. So that shows you. So they've got Poyan Palo, Sen Tosun, uh, Tommy. <laughs> oh, they've got a Valentine, have they? King... <gasps> I mean, wow. Sorry, guys. King Valentine. That is almost as good as Mustache Valentine, or Valentine Must... King... Va I'm sorry. Ah, oh, and look at him. He's, look at his hair, guys. That is a Casanova if I've ever seen one. Amiri, Nordweit, uh, Plattenhart, Burger. Is that a real? No, it's Corbinian Burger. That's a glorious name too. Vestergaard, Beck, and Bauman in goal. But can I just point out King Valentine? And now we move on. Uh, but that was pretty cool. I, I love seeing names like that. God, that was a great one. That's one of the best ones I've seen in a while, actually. Uh, right, so against Hoffenheim, we are certainly not the favourites. And I actually think we might struggle to get through this round because we are still sort of building ourselves up a little bit. So I don't you know what i'm saying is don't expect a huge amount of um traction over these two legs but i still thought i'd show you them both unless we got absolutely shellacking um in this first if we lose this leg like four nil i might not show this a cherry through already i might not show the second leg because it's just a waste of like it i'll, I'll live comment anyway but I, unless we were just like magical i probably wouldn't do anything special with it because i just think that that would be a waste of time really however we started this game really rather well good possession good pass completion we've had some shots always nice to see I'm a little bit surprised so far, frankly. This is looking much more... Right, okay, guys, you've got to concentrate a bit more. We've played half an hour. We're doing well, but we obviously had some chances, but we've not been able to hit the target with them. Ruiz now with a throw. Imagine if we won the away leg. Considering we're 4-1 to one to win this game, Ruiz. He's got Luis in the middle. This is his first game for us this month. Uh, Pache won. Aslan through, and Luis is in, and oh, he missed it. That was a big opportunity for Paris to take the lead here and get our away goal, but my God, we've started well. Aslan's lost out here. Uh-oh. He should be quicker, but he's going to lose the ball to him. Yep, yeah, he has. And it's in the back of the net. What the fuck was that? Also, question. 
when they come together, fair enough, he might have got there first. But why then does my player shoot about 80 yards to the right? Let's have a look at this in the uh, 3D match engine and we'll sort of see um, if I'm just making, if I'm just thinking this is bad when it actually wasn't. I thought our defender should have got there, but he's clearly not got the pace. But then it's the fact that all of a sudden, what is number 40 doing? Like, why does that constantly happen? It's really frustrating. They've, we've done really well so far and we've not taken our chances. They, however, have had one shot and they've scored it. And that's all you need to do, really, isn't it? Um... But I'm still confident if the way we're playing continues, we will get a second half goal. We have genuinely been very unlucky. And frankly, as you're about to see from the highlights um, after this game, we've been very unlucky in a lot of things this month, to be honest. Um, I don't think we've had a game where we really got lucky uh, in any way. Um, I'm just going to turn the shorter passing off to give us a bit more. I'm going to get stuck in a little bit more because we need it. Um, but other than that, I think we're gonna, those are the sort of things I've generally changed. Um, Sorry, my moustache is going into my mouth. I need to shave that bit. Uh, Amiri, now, we, we've done well in this first half, and I'm a little bit gutted that we've actually somehow found ourselves a goal down here, really. Um, but a one-goal defeat to them away from home wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. However, a goal would be absolutely precious for our chances of getting through. I think if we can score here, Cherry bringing it forward, he's going to shoot from range and miss, probably. Mbar um, bringing it down now. Uh, it's clearly a sought-after in individual, Mbar. Um, part one, he's got... Ruiz is through, he's got to shoot. He... Oh... I don't really fancy him as much of a goal scorer, to be fair, so I can't blame him too much there for skying that, but these are the chances you've got to take. I wouldn't say that's really that clear cut, but if that's in the hands of someone like Cherry, it really is, isn't it? Um, right. God, we've done well so far in this game. I feel a little bit hard done by it at this moment. I feel like we deserve to at least be at like a one-all. Aslan now. Cherry's through. a bit more space and loses out, but Mbar again, really advanced. Luis loses out again. Mopped up by Uchan. Aslan now. Back to Gabe. It's good to see Aslan back playing again. Uh, Park J1 loses out but wins the ball back. Uchan. We're keeping the ball nicely now. Luis, he's got Cherry into good space actually. Cherry's through again. Saved by Bellman. And another good chance goes begging. And we've just not taken our chances very good well this month. And other teams have just scored so well um, against us. And that's been the real problem. So, first things first. Aslan, again isn't having the best time yet he's not fully back fit so we're actually going to bring him off because he's playing worse and Luis is doing a really good job today um as for uh, actually i'm gonna get dominic gape off as well because he's having a poor game too um so we'll get bulens on who actually does play very well as a center mid now i've been loving his work in that central area um right so i'm thinking it's worth our going on to attacking just for the last little period of this game just to try and nick that goal basically because that goal going into the home leg at 1-1 would be so good 1-0 is not that bad really either but it does give us a bit more of an uphill task because no away goals and that gives us a bit more uh, to do Beck now is that a throw? it is a throw okay Beck with the ball in now Theory uh, Amiri now There's lots of players back for us don't foul him. Beck. I might have to turn and get stuck in off, actually, as we might concede a penalty. Amiri. Good tackle from Saleh Uchan, but unfortunately he's been caught out there. Ball across, and he's just going to smash in the top corner, isn't it? That's offside, surely. Yes, it is. Okay, don't worry. Duxh is offside. Um, apologies if that sounded really loud over the microphone. I feel like it may have done. Um, no, so many plosives. Right. Um, mm, okay, one last chance here. Maybe an equaliser here would be huge for us. Barguji to Umbar. Back to Uchan. We've got a decent squad, but that 4-1... to one, and bar. Can he find a pass? Whips it all the way in. Park J1 clears it. Uchan. Luis. Uchan! Off the crossbar. Oh, what a chance. This is what I mean. It's just not fallen for us lately. This month, we've just not been able to get the damn goals when we need them. Um, ah, it's such a shame. Uchan should win this, though, and get us back on the attack again. So Umbar. Still got men forward, though. That's looking good for us. Umbar up to Baguji. He's got men in support. Loses out, and, and that should probably do it for this highlight, I think. Um... As long as we don't concede a second goal. One nil is still doable at home. Um, it's just a bit... Oh, good God. Oh, for... Uh, never mind. What was that? I mean, seriously. Wow. I don't feel this has been a 2 nil game either. We should have probably at least drawn this. Like, how on earth have we let them score from there? How is that... Didn't even look like he kicked it at that angle. And then it's just somehow gone all the way across and... Oh, God. FM, people. Um, Hoffenheim... Right, okay. We're going to may as well go ultra-attacking for the next few... Not ultra attacking, sorry, I've been playing way too much FIFA. Um, oh, God. That's such a shame. We've been at least as good, if not better than them tonight. And yet we haven't managed to get a, even a goal. That's a real disappointment. And that's going to make that second leg incredibly difficult. And yet again, this month, we've just... This has happened in every game this month, practically. Do you ever get that feeling, guys, where you just turn on the game, you play it, and this happens in, like, six straight games. Like, it's the opposite of happening. This happened when I was playing the last episode of Paris. We just seemed to everything we touched turned to gold. And yet today, just the exact opposite of that. It's really annoying. But what can you do? Um, that looks like we could probably be out of the uh, 
the league with that one but there you go so i will join you guys in a sec um you're gonna see some highlights now of what's been going on in the midweek over the last few games and you'll see what i mean about how sort of we probably should have done a lot better with our chances and i'll join you guys for the second leg against hoffenheim in a second cherry steps up who else but alberto cherry paris one to lose nil here in the cup Turk now out on the right whips it all the way across pelicans in oh my god pelican scores for toulouse i'm gonna make cement in your beak son ball through the gap Urz Turk. all lots of space here ball across the box pelican is not gonna re oh we will reach that okay miassi oh my god it's in the back of the net um dominated the game but toulouse now lead two goals to one that's a shame somebody put a foot in whips it all the way across pelicans in Urz Turk on the rebound and amazingly toulouse somehow lead this game by three goals to one Urz Turk with the goal I gotta say, guys, Paris won to lose three. I'm disappointed we've lost that, considering the stats. Can it irk him with a long range? Oh, what a free kick that is! To lose one, Paris nil. Back to back games, and can it irk him? What an unbelievable strike that was. Irkin with the ball in. There's four of them there, and somehow it still ended up in the back of the net. To lose two, Paris nil. Maxime Pelican, Christ. Ah, oh, dear. Not having the luck today, guys. And there we have it. To lose two, Paris nil. We really did not deserve to lose that. Yards now, ball in the third tier. Team have taken the lead against us. Dijon from the third tier lead Paris by a goal to nil. Valdivia with the strike. Whips it all the way through. Oh, Bradovic with the strike. Great goal. Dijon won. Paris won. Milan or Bradovic with the goal. Great goal. Has he got another beautiful cross in him? He does. Ball in. Oh, it's in the back of the net. I think it's Sebastiani with the goal this time. Dijon won. Paris 2. Jordan Sebastiani makes it 2 1. Takes the throw. Pajaluka. Delorme is in and it's 2 2 somehow. Amazing stuff. Frank Delorme makes it 2 all in the cup. Into the box, he needs to get across it. Oh, what a strike! Dijon 2, Paris 3, Park J1 rescues us here, basically, coming off the bench to rescue the team. There we have it, 3-2, nowhere near as comfortable as it should have been. Whips it across, surely, and Martial will just put it in the empty net. Yeah. Ah, oh, God. We've done so well, we've created some decent chances, and yet again, we fall behind. It's just not been our day lately. To get that ball crossed the other side of the pitch. Uchan now going down the wing. Will he get the ball in though? That's the key. Whips it in. Nobody there. And barguji has got players all around him though. Part J1 cutting inside. Pereira back of the net. 1-1. That's what we need. And now we need another goal in this game because a draw is not good enough. 1-1. There we have it. 1-1. We are really not getting what we deserve from games lately. Yaro goes past his man. Whips it across and it's hit the post. My Oh, it's in in the back of the net anyway to Luis again whips it across Cherry with the strike Pereira on the rebound it's in the back of the net San Etienne won Paris won we didn't really deserve that but given the way our luck's been this month I'll take it Zubar steps up to take it and he scores it wasn't even in the fucking box there you go San Etienne 2 Paris 1 there we go San Etienne 2 Paris 1 it continues right guys we're back and um, as you can see we've had some like it, for example in the last game against San Etienne the one I've just played we were definitely not the better team in that one that is for sure but um <sighs> It'd just be nice if, I don't know, like, we've, we've had some good performances this month and we've lost almost every game. And it's been really shitty to see, frankly. But there you go. Our position as a team that's in the top three is now really at stake. Uh, we just get our stats up so we can have a little gander at that. Uh, so I can show you what I mean. Um, copy of overall. So top goal scorer is still Alberto Cherry, 42 this year. But he has really gone off the boil uh, this month, unfortunately. He's missed some huge chances. Luis is right in there as well, which is always lovely. As for assists, that is tied between Luis and Ruiz who I really do enjoy saying their names together. 12 man of the match boards for uh, Cherry as well. As for the league, we're still third, but um, yeah, as you can see, it's a bit tighter now. Now, technically, we only have to finish in the top six um, to get into the Europa League, which is what we're supposed to do this year, but I really do want Champions League football, and I feel like perhaps we'll, this is just going to be a bad spell for us and we'll get through it. Um, we've got Leon next in the league, so tough. That's a tough one as well, but if we can win that, I might get the confidence back. So let's just jump straight in to this game against Hoffenheim, because... As much as we did lose... I mean, look at this record lately. I just want to show you this. Like, Monaco was a weird game. Against Toulouse, we were probably the better team in that game. And in the second one, perhaps not. Uh, Dijon, obviously, we won. Stad Rene, we were definitely the better side. Uh, Hoffenheim, we were probably at least as good as them. And so it's just like, I don't know. We've gone from this to this just because of that one result against Monaco. It's amazing how quickly things can change. Um, let's take a quick look, actually. Let's go back to the team uh, because apparently I must have already gone to the team tactics mode. Sigrist, again, has gone to shitty morale. Apparently, I don't know, just because of the stupid win bonuses, which were as high as I could physically set them. A few players are a little bit unhappy at the moment, but that's just you're going to get with the bad form. Um, so, Jerry, Asdan, Luis, Part J1. That is a great forward line. Uchanan gave him behind Mbar, Phillips, Sidibi, Ruiz is a very strong defence, and Segrist in behind that. That, to me, should be strong enough to get a result against Hoffenheim. Whether it's going to be 2-0 result, I just don't think so. 
I just don't think we're going to have that in us. And that's the real annoying thing here. They're still the favourites, despite how good we played in the away, the away game. So Dutch will start up front for them instead, um, who, of course, scored that really annoying goal late on against us. I really hate that. Like, when have you ever seen a player slide tackle one from the halfway line that goes all the way through their own defence and then is... Yeah, that, that happens so much in FN that I really do fucking hate it. Uh, anyway, moving along. You know, live and let live and all that. Let's just do this. We need to get a good win here. We've managed to be really solid against them away from home, so I see no reason why we can't win the home leg. We definitely need to win this game. If we don't win this, I'll be desperately disappointed in us. Uh, we've been very poor this month in general, but the Hoffenheim game showed that we can play well against really good sides. Zuba now, with the ball in for Hoffenheim, should be cleared away comfortably. Uchan, not the best clearance, but Luis will pick this up and could maybe set us away. No. Okay. Um, they've got a bit more of a defensive style, and that's understandable, what with them being 2-0 up from the first leg. So, then we might just basically get free reign of the attacking side of this game. Uchan to Aslan now. Can he find a ball through for someone? Not really. Goes back for game. They've got literally ten men, uh, nine men behind the ball. Luis, out wide for Ruiz. Please pull it back across. Park J1, back of the net. Four minutes gone, and we already have the lead that we need. Uh, well, not the lead that we need, but the lead that we want to start off with. Sorry, I was about to go, oh, the highlights, but of course we need the highlights because this is the live comp part of the episode. Good little ball here from Luis, out wide to Ruiz, who's going to give himself yet another assist. I thought he was going to shoot. For once, they actually square it, and Park J1, one of our magical forwards, is in there to make it 1-0 to Paris, and that's the perfect start to this game. Hopefully, we can continue that uh, for the remainder of it, and we need, th well, we need two more goals, basically, really, and that is going to be difficult, I think. So I'm a little bit worried on that front, but... Well, this game has really... Nothing has really happened since the goal, has it? Um, possession is good. Pass completion is good. I'm thinking we maybe just get a bit more expansive and up the tempo on them a little bit. Just to try to... Because we're getting a decent amount of possession. The pass completion is high. So we can risk that dropping a little... Here we go. Uchan with the free kick. Oh, is it the crossbar again? Oh, dear. Deary me. Uh, right, here we go. Ruiz now with a throw. Presumably two part. J1, in fact. Uh, might want to pull that back to Gape. We're in the box, though. Aslan to Uchan. All kinds of space. What a strike. Paris to Hoffenheim nil. Sally Uchan with the strike. We've scored from our only two shots on target today. It's nice to happen for us for a bit. Uh, so there we go. Lovely ball from Ruiz out to Gape. Gape just drops it across for Aslan. Puts it across for a uh, lovely little first touch. And then just absolute rocket there from Sally Uchan. Brilliant stuff. Paris 2, Hoffenheim nil, and that's now level on the aggregate tie. And we're still on control here, guys. We can keep going like this. Luis, his ball across. Cherry brings it down. Uchan, ho -ho! he's in the mood for long ranges today. Uchan now into Aslan now. All the way for Papar J1, and it's nearly safe. Wow. We've started this game like a bullet out of a cow. Um, this is perfect stuff. Part J1 now cleared away. Uchan should bring this down, and we can recycle the possession again. Luis to Gape to Uchan. In for Cherry. He needs a goal. Really, he does. Um, back for Uchan now. Out wide for Mbar. If we get a third one before half time, I'll be very, very happy. But then we do know that, you know, they only need that away goal. And that's the problem for us right now, is that they only need that one goal um, to make us have to score four. Luis loses out, but we're straight back on it, though, with Uchan. Good solid performance so far, and they're not looking like scoring, which is always nice. Uchan again, cleared away, and Gate just collects that. They've got no one up front, really. Aslan now to Luis. To Cherry, round the side for Park J1 again, it's in the back of the net. Paris 3, Hoffenheim 0, Park J1 with his second of the game. And we're already in the position we want to be in after 38 minutes. This is what this whole month seems to have been building up to. They finally clicked. Uh, Cherry this time turning provider, putting Park J1 through again, and it's a little toe poke, and it's in the back of the net from him again. He could be the hero for us in the Europa League. We know we've got a tough next round if we do go through, and that's a big if, because this game could still change very quickly if Hoffenheim score a goal. Thankfully, in this first half, they've shown no signs of that and are still at, uh, still playing 4-5-1. So that's interesting. I thought they would have changed it, but expect that to change in the second half, guys. Uh, they are never going to stay on... I might just put it on retained possession as well. That will just give us a little bit more time on the ball. Hopefully, we won't get caught on the ball, but it means that we'll just waste a little bit of time without actually having it on waste time. Right, they're going 4-4-2. That's fine. We'll let them do that. You know, that will actually, in theory, give us a bit more space. I might switch to counter, particularly if we get a fourth goal. Um, I might switch to counter attack just to sort of... I did, then again, do we want to even allow them onto us? I think we're playing so well in this game that that might not be an issue for us. We'll see, though. You know, they're bound to get better in this second half. They really can't get any worse than they did in the first half. Uh, we're going to tell them to concentrate a bit because they are under 50% on the old shot accuracy. Right, Baumgartel now. Let's not let this... There we go, good stuff. Gape brings it away for Luis. We've got players bombing forward. Luis, he's got Cherry. Part J1 is in all kinds of space. He's got one man with him, though, and that man is Ruiz. Throw on goal. Oh... Carlos, he's not a goal scorer. That's not his job. But if he puts that in the back of the net, I think I'd have to kiss him. Just all over his face. Um, so, four, four goal cut chances, three goals. I'm happy with that. We've created some good opportunities and we've taken them. Uh, or the majority of them. Right. What's what's good, guys? Um, 
Luis has actually not had the best game as the attacking playmaker, so I'm thinking it's Barguji time. Uh, Cherry's not been superb, but he's linked up the play nicely and he'll be staying on the pitch. Gape's not been fantastic, so that's a simple change as well to get Bulens on, just to improve. Like, Gape's actually been the worst performer on the pitch, so hopefully getting Joachim Bulens and Fauzi Barguji on will just continue this sort of pounding. If we grab a fourth goal, I can breathe a sigh of relief and actually say, yeah, we're going through, but it only takes one goal from them and, oh God, Aslan's injured. Aslan! Did, oh, did Scar kill you? Right. Um, Pereira. It's going to have to be Pereira. al Qaeda isn't really that type of player. Um, then again, he can play in quite a few positions, but now we've made all our subs, the last thing we need is to go down to 10 men or something. We're still looking pretty good here, and actually, with two minutes to go, we're on the attack. Barguji, departure one. Has he got a hat-trick in him? No. Is there a break on, though? They've lost the ball, haven't they? Yeah, they have. Bulens now. Into Sally Uchan. Has he got another long ranger in him? Part J1. Cherry. Oh, that's dangerous. To Ruiz. Wonderful cross. Ball down to Cherry. Back of the net. It's 4 0 to Paris. Paris 4. Hoffenheim 0. Alberto Cherry finally gets his mojo back. And hopefully, this is going to be the, the sort of big win that we need to get our form back in the league. Because we've been woeful as of late in front of goal. And unlucky at the other end. A um, little bit lucky there, actually. But Cherry finally gets his 43rd of the season. He's definitely going to get 50 this year. He has to. Uh, surely not another one. That would be a bit excessive. Uchan now to Park J1. Out to Uchan. Round the corner for Cherry. Has he got another one? And he does! Paris 5. Hoffenheim nil. We're having a lovely time. What, what problem? I don't know what I was worried about. That's insane. 5 nil against Hoffenheim, of all people. Who are certainly no pusher. But bear in mind, they were the favourites to win this game. Um, Uchan, lovely little boy for the channel. I thought that might have been a little offside there. But Cherry now, two goals in the last two minutes of the game. Suddenly, bang, back on form. Paris 5, Hoffenheim nil. Oh, no, not another one. Uchan whips it forward. No, not quite. Um... And there we go. Paris 5, Hoffenheim 0. 5-2 on aggregate, guys. Brilliant stuff. I'm over the moon with that. Alberto Cherry, man of the match in the end. But, you know, good performance from Uchan and Park J1. Fantastic stuff. And we are through to the next round where we will play either... Well, Man City have won 5-1. So we're going to be playing Man City in the next round. And that's probably where we uh, take our leave of absence as they've won. How much did they win by? Uh... 5-1. Okay, they drew 0-0. And look at that. Paco Alcacer scored four goals for them. And they've got Carlos Fierro as well. Um, we're going to get the D. But it doesn't matter because the point is we've got this far and that's happy. We got out of the group stages. That's where we were expected to get to. Just the group stages. So the next episode will be... But it has to be the double legger against Manchester City. You're going to get another double live com. I hope you guys are up for that. Um, there's a few less games to talk about in between though. Another game against Toulouse because we just love them. Um, so... If you've enjoyed this episode, please do drop a like on the video. That would mean the world to me. And uh, if you've enjoyed it even more than that and you haven't already, please do hit that big old subscribe button under the channel name and whatnot uh, to subscribe for more of this and plenty more coming in uh, FM16. I've got all kinds of ideas coming soon. So I will see you guys in the next episode for, well, a game against Manchester City. I did not think we'd be playing them this early in the safe, to be honest. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.